Y'all, this is for parents, okay? If you're not a parent, you can stay or you could go on. But anyway, y'all, we love our kids, okay? We want the best for our kids. Even when they're young, we want them to be respectable. We want them to be responsible. We all, as parents, want to know that if something were to ever happen to to, to us, that <coughs> excuse me, that our kids would be stable in the mind, not scattered everywhere. Nobody wants their child to be that way. It starts when they're young. Y'all, when your kids are young, they're like soft clay, okay? And the things that you teach them, the values, the morals, respect, responsibility, you work hard for what you want. When you start teaching them that, you're molding their clay. And as the years go on, that clay is getting harder, okay? Now, if you've had this clay and shit, you ain't molded this clay, but then 16 years later, you're going to try to come make something up out of it and it won't mold right. That's because your ass didn't start when they was young. It's okay for you to get onto your kids' ass. It's okay for you to talk sarcasm to them. As long as you don't put them down, don't never, don't never put your child down. Don't never, because words hurt, okay? I know, I've been there. Don't ever put your child down, okay? But what you can do is you're grown. You can put it into a perspective to make them look at it a different way and make them look at them own self within themselves like, you know, that builds conscience, okay? Some of y'all are going around here with these kids that's, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and y'all letting them run shit. Meaning, they can go. Example: go to school, get kicked out, come home, and they back like they on vacation, looking at YouTube, doing this. No, you about to read a book, you about to write sentences, you about to be just like you in school, because you ain't at school is how you gonna be. You ain't getting no snacks, you ain't getting no Kool Aid, you getting water, you getting milk. I know I've done, I've, I've done it, I've done it. I have 10 kids. I've done it. I've got grown kids and I've got little kids. I know how this system works with kids and I know how kids work and operate. My kids, thank God, none of them has been to jail. All my kids, I thank God I have good, golden, blessed, respectable kids. I worked hard to get them that way. So I would never tell anybody on this platform anything that I know <laughs> from proof. I also know as a parent, when you have to discipline your kid, it hurts you. It hurts your heart, but you can't let them see that. You're running things. You are the adult. You stay in control always. And as they get older, they will respect you for that. But if you start off letting them take the reins, example, I can get in trouble at school, get kicked out. I don't know how to act right in school. I ain't been good in school for a whole week straight without getting in trouble. Now here's the kicker. I'm kicked out for three days. But I get up in the morning and the day resumes. I get to watch YouTube. I get to do... That's where you're failing your kid. Stop it. Stop it. You can take the reins. You are the parent. Them kids will only be mad a little bit of time because they ain't running shit no way. They depend on you just as long as you treat them with respect. But there is a way to flip this shit around. You just got to put in work.